Craps is the only casino game where players have a direct control over the outcome of the game. We can affect the game by rolling these dice with our own hands. Now we all know if money is involved, people will cheat, or at least they'll try to. In this video, I show you the top 12 ways casinos try to stop a dice cheat. So I was sent these canceled dice by Silver Hunter. He got these from his local casino, Cypress Bayou, and, or Bayou, Bayou, whatever, and it's in Southern Louisiana. I figured this would make a great example to make a video about dice. All right, let's go ahead and open these up. You'll notice that it has the, um, the date and the time and you know, the, the serial number and the man, I guess the, the pit manager signed off on these. Let's check these things out. Oh, there you go. Cypress Bayou. Cypress Bayou, <laughs> I guess it is. These are very cool. Thank you, Silver Hunter. Okay, so what are the top ways casinos try and stop players from turning the odds in their favor at the dice table? Perfect cubes. Dice are made to an exact specification. Most use a three quarter inch precision cut, certified perfectly shaped and balanced cube to ensure an even distribution of the rolls. There are made to tolerances less than one third of the thickness of a human hair. Now that's like one ten thousandths of an inch. If they weren't perfect, the dice would not roll fairly. For instance, some people create loaded or weighted dice and try to swap them out during the game. And some people may try to shave the dice or round the corners with their rings and other tools in their hands. Anything they could do to create a non-perfect die. Rules. Casinos institute rules to prevent players from cheating. For instance, you can only hold the dice with one hand. This prevents players from swapping dice out or you know, swapping in their crooked dice. They also ask when you roll that you hit the back wall. This is called diamond or pyramid or sometimes alligator bumpers. And this affects how the dice roll. They'll bounce off you know, all these different angles and bounce off in weird and random ways. Another rule is they ask you to throw to the opposite end of the table where you're standing. Now in this video, I can only throw to my same side and this is really too short of a roll. Typically they'll ask you to roll to the opposite. Well, not typically, they always make you roll to the opposite end of the table. Now another rule I've seen is they tell you to keep the dice below eye level so the dealers don't have to look up because I guess if the, dealer, the dealers have to watch the dice. So if they're watching it go up high above the table, they can't see what's going on, on the table. Players may, you know, move their bets around or grab some chips or whatever. So usually they'll ask you if it's a problem to keep it below eye level. Now, some of these rules are somewhat related to the topic of dice control or dice influence. And I'm not going to cover that today, but just know this is a perfectly legal way to play and to try to gain an advantage over the casino. Serial numbers. Dice usually come in a pack of five with matching serial numbers. If a player tries to swap out a die with a different dice, let's say they're going to get caught. This, this one is not going to match the rest of them. Sharp corners. Most board games have dice with rounded corners, but in casinos, they're always going to be sharp. These sharp corners grab the felt and cause them to bounce in all kinds of funny ways. Also, if the dice were biased in some way or weighted on one side, a rounded die would tend to show this bias more. Translucency. Dice are made of a form of transparent plastic. You can see right through them, making it very difficult to hide weights or tamper with them in some way. Pip drilling. Now these dots on the die are called pips and they aren't painted or printed on. They're actually drilled out and filled with a special paint or epoxy that is the same density of the plastic. So this assures that even though there are like six pips on this side and there's only one on this side, that the weight is still perfect. Now, if you look closely, you can see that they are drilled holes that are then backfilled. The weight's still perfect because what they drill out, they fill back in with the same weight. So the, the weight remains the same. Key letter spot. You may have never noticed this one, but in many casino die, they add a number or letter to the back side of the pips. If I get the angle just right, you should be able to see it. This die has a C printed inside. Glow spots. 
I can't verify this without a black light, but some casinos use pips that actually change color under UV lights. Pretty clever. Casino logos. This is nice marketing for the casino, but it's also a simple added layer of protection against counterfeiting of dye. Dice change. Fresh dice are brought in and this can happen at any time, even during a long, hot roll. It will often happen during a shift change. Surveillance. The eye in the sky. Every game is watched and recorded on a camera with a team dedicated to watch that the play is fair. Also, the table crew is they're keeping a watch at all times and they even have mirrors along the side of the craps tables to give them a better view. Cancellation. When a casino decides to retire or cancel a set of dies, they will destroy it in some way. The most common way I see is that they take a circle stamp and punch the die, and this makes it easy to see that it's a canceled die, and it's no good for play. You're often gonna find these canceled dies in the casino gift shop. So there you go, some pretty cool information about dice. Now, I buy dice from Amazon, and now these are not casino quality, they're pretty close, so you can get some cheap for, you know, 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. They're rated like A through AAA, um, but these aren't actually used in the casino. These are, you know, shipped in from China. The only USA manufacturer that I'm aware of is Midwest Game Supply. So their die are actually the ones used in the casino. They're gonna be a little more expensive, but if you're just playing around on your table, the Amazon dice, I'll put a link down in the description. These are just fine for my use and you know, they're pretty good. So let me know if you know of any other security measures that the casinos may have when it comes to dice. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, good luck on coloring up.